hair in TikTok is still at it. Go into my videos saying, your stuff's too expensive. It all looks terrible and no one's gonna buy it. These people are really so salty, I won't give them my stuff for free. It also annoys me that people are going around telling me how much my art is worth. It's people like that that make a lot of artists undervalue their art. Especially those that have low self-confidence. Because there's a lot of people that kind of have a confirmation bias when it comes to the quality of their work being judged by other people. No matter how many people say it's great, those few people who say it's terrible will stick in their mind. When I was commissioning my friend for art, when we were trying to work out how much I needed to pay him, the prices we came to were very different. And y'all have seen the Capuchin art he made. It is very good, but he was undervaluing it so, so much. Because people tell him, well, it's not worth that much. I ended up giving him a minimum I was going to pay. You have officially entered small business TikTok, where no purchase is necessary, but always appreciated. And if you want to show us some love, simply like and comment on this video. And of course, don't forget to follow us. Sometimes having a small business isn't as glamorous as it seems. Could be doing the same minuscule task over and over again, or it could be filming a TikTok on your coffee mug and it falling over. It doesn't matter what it is, it's not always fun. So I want other small creators to use this sound and show their followers something that they don't even like doing that's part of their small business. It's okay to not like every step of the journey. Hey guys, let's pack an order. So this is going to go out to Canada and she picked out both of our brisa tops in lavender and white, our rose top which is currently sold out, as well as these two backless bodysuits. She also picked out one of our bags, this Jesse handbag in baby blue. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply our custom tags. My tags again are from Etsy. I believe I get around $500 for about $150. They're a little bit pricier only because they're a pink foil which costs a little bit more but they're definitely worth it. After I tag these up, I'm going to fold them up and I'm going to place them inside our poly bags. I'm then going to take out the bag out of its packaging only to do a quality control check just to make sure that the zipper works and that there isn't any defects on it. We're going to package this up and then I'm going to weigh it and print out the shipping label. I didn't record this part, but I also did have to print out a customs form because this is an international order. I printed that out as well and then I applied it to the back of the package. She'll be ready to go. Okay, the vision is a bunch of presents. Did I fully know what I was doing? No. But, um, you know how I did my pattern pumpkin painting? And the, all those? I was like, how do I do that with the Christmas version? Presents. I think I'm going to do an ornament one too, so stay tuned. I don't know. Anyways, I included all my favorites, the little snowman and then the gnomes. And I just had fun. Like, I really did. I remember this night, that I posted on my story, and I was like, y'all, I'm not hating every minute of this. We love to see it. I'm not... I mean, I'm just kidding. But, you know, sometimes, like, okay. Anyways, you get it. And these are little gingerbread houses. What fun.
Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open say. Hey. Anyways, um, I'm keeping the painting, but there is an art print of it on my website, so that's exciting. Look at all of them. Aw, it's so fun. Okay, love you, bye. One of the most important things I ever learned from any of my art internships was if you sell products to have really great packaging. I sell handmade earrings and each of them comes with a handwritten note matching packaging and it's just an experience to open it up.
I say this all the time, but it is so true. It costs zero dollars and zero cent to support a small business. When you see a small business's post, share, like, comment, engage. Even if you don't even have the money to purchase. If you like the item, tell us. Like That makes us feel. All right, check it out. So I ended up on your For You page, which means you like art or you're an artist. I just wanted to show you my work. Look at the detail. I spent many hours on this. I just hope I get one like, a couple of comments, maybe a share even. That would be dope. If you're seeing this, please interact with this video. Lately, my small business hasn't been getting as many views on TikTok, which means less visitors to our site. Please like, comment, or copy link. We would love for more people to discover. Hey Alyssa, it's Alyssa. Today we're packing your order. I saw your sweet note about wanting a video and you guys, whenever I see them, my heart lights up. I try and do as many as I can. I do have a few filmed that I haven't posted yet, but anyways, Alyssa got the Teddy Scrunchies in all the colors, the whole set, and a Champ Scrunchie and the Butterfly Milk Carton Bottle. That one is one of my favorites. Also, you guys, we've been running to the post office every single day, so if, if you're waiting, thank you for being patient. Continue to do so. Everything that has already been placed will get to you before Christmas. With that being said, next week I'm going to shut off the website so that all the orders can be to you before Christmas. So get your orders in and check out Instagram for a couple of holiday giveaways. I will never, and I mean never, forget the time that we had a male sub in high school and a girl asked to go to the restroom and he said sure. So she grabbed something and he heard a rapper and he was like, oh. If you're going to eat candy, you can do it in here, but you have to share with everyone in the class. And she was like, what? And he was like, well, I heard the rapper. And she whips out a tampon, shoves it in his face, and she goes, you want to share? Oh, girl, I savage. Hey guys, so I've come on today to talk about the most talked about thing on my TikTok at the moment, and that is my seeded cards. 
So in this video, I want to go through like how I made them, where I got them made because everyone is asking and I really want to support that small business as much as I can. So first off, these cards are my care instruction cards, as you can see with my logo on the front. Um, I actually got my graphic designer to design everything and then I sent it over to this company right here. So Seed and Ink is where I got my cards printed from. The lady there is absolutely amazing and I recommend her 100%. And it's super easy to get these made. I literally just sent her my design. She added in like her little part down the bottom for the instructions on how to plant. And yeah, got them sent out to me. It's super fast. Recommend 100%. You have to buy them for your business. Some of you have commented or written me about the tape method for sublimation when using a convection oven, so I decided to try it out for you guys in between printers resting. I started out by printing out my mug template in Silhouette Studio. 
I printed these out with my Epson EcoTank 7750. I do have a video coming on this printer, so be patient for that. The templates I printed at three and a half inches in height and nine inches in length. Once I trim them down, I'm applying them to the ceramic. These are 11 ounce mugs using regular old masking tape. No heat tape, just masking tape. With the tape method, the thought is that if you cover the entire surface of the sublimation item with the masking tape, it will be applying the pressure that you need in order for the image to transfer correctly. After taping these mugs, I put them in my convection oven for 12 minutes, turning them at six minutes, and this is the result. I'm not going to write off this method just yet. I do not see it being perfect though. I could see it working as a last resort. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks. This is everything I use to make my stickers and t-shirts for my small business. My t-shirts are called Comfort Colors Heavyweight RS and they are from JiffyShirts.com. You can get them other places, but that's where I get mine. I use Cricut products. Mine's called Cricut Explore Air 2. You will need Cricut mats to go along with that so that you can use it. I use Scissor Stretch HTV for my t-shirts. These are two Cricut tools that you will absolutely need if you are making stickers or t-shirts to peel off um, the excess or the stickers. If you make them, you know what I mean. This is a sticker paper I use. It's from Online Labels and it's called Weatherproof Mat. Right there. The printer I use is called the HP 6978, I believe. But honestly, you get what you pay for, so just any printer will do as long as it's pretty nice. I also use the Cricut Easy Press 2 9x9. To design, I use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator.
I didn't get all prettied up for this video because it's not that important, but I just thought I'd bring attention to the fact that people still say, oh, click share, other cancel. No, bruh. Just click share, copy link. Today, we received a very special order from the US. A customer purchased a rose quartz chunk, the Love and Heal mini kit, and a clear quartz crystal point for both herself and her friend. She wrote us a note explaining that they are both in fact nurses working on the front line, and so she was eligible to receive 25% off her order. We cannot wait for Jessica and her friend Lauren to receive their beautiful crystals. And we thank them so much for their incredible work during this crazy time. So I was told that I was overpricing my cups. Let me break it down for you. You're not, you're not only paying for your cup, you're also paying for the supplies that I use to make your perfect cup, including a good quality tumbler. So if you guys are ever wondering how to make your own stickers, this is how you do it. Go to Walmart, get these Avery stickers, type in this code at the top of the sheet into Google, as I'm doing here, and then click on the first one that pops up and then you're gonna go ahead and start making your design. I was scrolling through and then decided to type the number at the search bar at the top. It'll open it up, do a blank one, and then enter an image. I decided to do my logo, and then I just made sure it was centered. Then this is what it looks like when you save it to a PDF, and then you'll be able to print it out on your own. And this makes 60 stickers for $6. You guys have to do this. It is a game changer. And I th think they turned out great.